Hi friends, welcome to Art Today. We are going to be talking about value. And value is the different shades and tints of one color. So I'm going to be using different values of purple to color in the letters. When I talk about values of a color, I mean the lightness and darkness of a color. So although each one of these is a purple, it is either a light purple, a dark purple, a medium purple. It all is based off the amount of white or black added to that color. To create values in a color when you only have, let's say, one blue crayon or one blue colored pencil, all you have to do is change the pressure you put on your pencil or crayon while you're coloring it. So here I'm pressing down as hard as I can in this last square and that is creating the darker blue. The first square I was barely pressing down at all as lightly as I could to create the light blue. Here in the middle I'm pressing down a little harder or I just am going over it again to create that darker color. Again here I'm lightly pressing down on my colored pencil, barely making the markings on my paper. And then at the end, I'm going to press down as hard as I can without breaking the pencil, of course, to create that rich, dark blue. And then in the middle, again, I'm going to color as lightly as I can. And sometimes it's easiest to create the medium color by just going over it a second time. And that's how you create values using only one colored pencil and one crayon. Today you'll need a piece of paper, a pencil, colored pencils, and crayons. You're not going to use markers today. Today we're going to create our own three-dimensional Jeff Koons balloon dog. Our first step, I'm going to draw a small circle. And this, I want to be towards the right side of the paper. It's the balloon tie. This is the smallest circle we'll be making, so make sure there is room around your paper for you to draw more. Next, I'm gonna draw a curved line on the inside. Then a curvy triangle shape. Then I'll draw another really small semicircle around the tip of that. Now I'm going to draw a circle for the head of the balloon animal and it's going to be more of an oval. Please pause, rewind each step and rewatch them if you need to. So there's my first oval and I'm going to draw lines on the quote unquote balloon to give the appearance that it's tied tightly. Now it's time for the ears. So I'm going to draw a straight line near the left of the head. To create the balloon ears, I'm going to draw two curved lines starting at the top of that straight line. So now I'm going to draw the feet of the balloon dog. So I'm not gonna start here where the body would be. I'm gonna start a little down. I'm gonna draw another slanted oval. To create the neck, I'm going to use two curved lines starting where the ears meet the head, towards the top of the foot, then around on the other side. We're going to pretend it makes a oval right behind those other ovals. Then I'm going to add another oval behind here for its other foot. To create the body, I'm going to create a longer oval shape. Then I'm going to add the feet to the back of the body. We want it to look like these ovals are overlapping each other. Then I'm going to add the tail. And I'm going to add a skinnier piece for the other end of the balloon. 
Now I'm going to add what we call highlights to the balloon. This is the light reflecting off the balloon. So these highlights will stay white. We will not color inside these circles. I'm pausing in between each one to give you some time to draw, but please feel free to rewind or pause at any time. Now, once we have our highlights done, you need to grab the color that you want your balloon to be. If you just have a pencil, that's okay. So what we're doing here is we are going to teach ourselves how to add value to our balloon. We want it to look three-dimensional. So I'm drawing three semicircles starting at the bottoms of the balloon. Again, just three curved lines that lead up to where the highlight is. So it's basically, if it would go all the way around, it would be a total circle around these highlights. So again, I'm just doing three of them, and I want them to be equally spaced apart. I suggest watching one section at a time and then trying it on your own because this can be complicated. Again, we are teaching ourselves how to create value in each section to make our balloon dogs 3D. Let's think of each section of the balloon as its own separate balloon. The section that's furthest away from the highlight on its balloon is going to be colored the darkest. And remember, the harder we press down on our pencil or our crayon, the more pressure we put down on it, the darker it's going to be. The lighter we press down, the lighter the color is going to be. I want you to color each section of the balloon that's the darkest first before moving on to the lighter shades of that color. So again, I'm coloring in as hard as I can in the section that is the furthest away from the highlight. And the highlight is the small circle that we drew that is the reflective light, what is staying white. Now for the section to color right above that, I'm still gonna press down pretty hard, just not as hard as I did before to make sure they do not look the same. You're going to be able to tell the difference between the sections, and that's okay. We want to. So I'm going to apply the same pressure here that I will in these same sections in the rest of the balloon. Now, for the next ring, I'm going to be barely pushing down on my colored pencil. That's how I'm going to create the lighter color, by barely pressing down. And the closer you get to the highlight, the less you press down. That's how you're going to get your variation in your colors. Now, for the background, I want us to stick with pop art. 
So we wanna use bright colors, bright patterns. You can create any type of design that you want behind your balloon animal dog. It's completely up to you what lines, shapes, and colors you use. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I cannot wait to see what you create. I miss you guys so much. I miss our art room. I miss creating art with you all. So please don't forget to post a picture of what you create inside the portfolio so I can see it and celebrate what you are creating.